Today, I'm gonna be, well, finally getting around to fixing up my drain. Whoever did this when they installed it did not put a clean out. So this trap is gonna be probably pretty gunky, pretty nasty inside. One thing I don't like is this is a flatter style trap. This is a more rounded trap to make a good drain clean out. What you're gonna need is, well, a P-trap, couplings, or unions. Either one. I like unions because you could take them apart after they're glued if you ever want to remove it and clean it, even though once you do this, this trap should never have to be removed to clean. You're gonna need a T, so this way you could build your clean out. Then in my back pocket, that's just a tab I'm gonna add, but you're gonna need a cap, and you're gonna need either a male or a female adapter, depending on the connection on your unit. Primer, PVC glue, and you don't really have to, but you can put a little bit of pipe sealant on the threads. Tell you the truth though, you have no pressure, so usually it never leaks. Also, only hand tight. Well, let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off here, take this out, and then I'm gonna cut the drain a little past here so I don't have a whole bunch of fittings in my way. This way I just have the one connection off of the pipe so I don't have like this and another fitting and another fitting because you'll see drain lines done like that. Here we go, let's get started, less talking. Boom! Well, that's cheap plastic. And that's why I'm using Schedule 40 instead of this pipe I found in my attic. I'm gonna use Schedule 40. You could just see what's inside just that piece of pipe I cut. I'll put that there for now. Ah, get off. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this to help whatever water's in here drain out. So this way it doesn't sit there as much. Let's take the wires off of here out of my way so it's usually have my knife on me not today but okay that's enough wire out of my way so this way you've seen that what happened there I'm gonna cut it right here let's see with the cut I actually can send whatever waters here down most of it so now let me cut here to get this out of my way. I probably shouldn't use the pressure and just use the pressure a little bit from the cutter, but mostly twisting action. Many cutters are just squeezed. This kind of plastic squeeze is good. So let's Okay, what do we got in here? What do we got? You can see it's nasty. I'll open that up at the end. But for now, I'm just going to put this here. So if it does leak anywhere, it's only in the drain pan. Now let's get this out of here. Oh, even going in to the unit. Look at that. Nastiness. Nastiness. That's why I believe in putting a clean out on everything. These are usually only hand tight, so it's not like you need a lot of force or pressure to remove it. Okay, so now I probably by hand get it off. All right, for now, put it there. So I'm gonna start, I have my fitting here. I'm just gonna add a little, make sure there's not too much gunkiness in there. A little bit stripping, but it's okay. Like I said, you don't need much. So I'm just gonna put a little in the threads. Don't put it inside. There's so many times I go to a unit and work on it and there's in the trap floating 
is pipe dope or pipe sealant. You don't need it. A little bit, a little dab will do you. Anything past that, you don't want to really be wasting too much time. So come on the side. Now we're going to start building the clean out. So since I have this piece already on this long pipe that's glued so I can't use that, that was from another thing, but I still have it. Let's get going. So now we got to primer that, but first this is going to be like this. I'm going to use this piece of pipe for everything. So figure this is where I have this cut right here. So this is where I can cut this. This is schedule 40, as you can see. Walls are a lot thicker. I don't like using this thin wall stuff. All right, now, I'm always gonna do this, dry fit it. I can leave that there, and I'm gonna put a union down further. Okay, so, I'm gonna T on it. Okay, now I need a small piece of pipe. Go from here over. I have another piece of pipe so I don't have to chop down this and waste. I could just cut a little off of here and I'll cut that right about here. All right, see what it looks like. Okay, so the drain line in the making. So that's pretty good. It's not going up, is it? It's actually going up. I don't like it. So because it's going up a little bit, my solution for that is my trap. It's too big. So I'm going to have to trim the trap. So let's... Take this out of the way. I don't have to trim it much, but just a little bit. And then I'll still have a trap. Boom. Okay, so I still have a trap. But it's not going to be as tall. And that's one of the most important things is that you don't want. Look, now it's uh, might need to be trimmed a little more. How much more can I push? This is a fatal flaw sometimes, but if you push them in too far, you may not. Let's see. I mean, I could always cut into the floor. Which is actually what a part of me is thinking about. So from here to here, that's pretty good. All right. So it's higher in the back than it is here. You always want to make sure it's going downhill your drain all the time. I see these sometimes go uphill. Problem with that is water sits here and then this part can get clogged up. So you always want your water going downhill. So now that we have this pretty much done, this is too small, yet I'm gonna have to cut a small piece, make a cap, close it. But for now, let's attach the pipe. We're gonna have to clean up all these fittings. So let's start right here. Dig this out. Ba -ba 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 boom. Okay, that's out. Take this off. Ba -ba 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 boom. Take this off. Ba -ba 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 boom. Okay. Now you can't glue on a dirty PVC. There's a whole thing out there where people say you have to use primer. You cannot glue PVC without primer. The only 
thing that I have to say about that is that there's no pressure. Clean primer cleans the PVC. So this way it helps the glue melt the PVC together that there's nothing in the way. So if you don't have primer on it, you're really not gonna have a drain that's definitely gonna leak. It's just people like to see it. People like to see that purple color. And the downfall of the primer also is that it is quite messy. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little messy. So if you wanna protect the area you're working in, I also recommend that you put something down. For me, this is my attic floor. So, I don't care. But if it's somebody else's, you wanna protect it. So, you gotta always primer your fittings and your pipe. So that's the first one. Put that right there so it's not on anything. Second, third, and fourth. I do not believe I have to allow the primer to dry all the way. Because now, what I'm gonna do with these fittings here is I'm gonna take the glue, boom, boom, okay, and my fitting, and that is never gonna leak from that fitting. That's a good glue spot. Now you take another, you're gonna put your glue just around your pipe, you take it, you push it in, and you twist. Okay, now you sunk it in as far as you can. And this is why you protect your customer's floor, because this glue does not clean up when it spills this stuff there. But like I said, this is my floor, so I don't care. And I don't have sloppy primer all over the place. So it's not easy the first couple times you do it, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people end up having that primer run everywhere. So now for the next part, this is going to be going there and into the T. Put the primer there. Put the primer here. And you got to be careful. Primer can actually melt the PVC. It like helps warm it up for the glue. And you have to hold it in sometimes, like right there. I felt it trying to push out. Sometimes, smaller pipe not as much, but sometimes it tries to push it out. Okay, that's good. That's not gonna go anywhere. So now we're gonna connect these. And like I said, this is why this comes in handy and is good to use. So now put the union piece back there. We will, this piece is for here, the other piece it threads onto, so a little glue there, a bit of glue there. It's just to clean the piping. New stuff, you really don't have much to clean. A little dab will do you, some glue, you don't have to overdo it at all. Push it all the way in, and do a little twist, so this way you sink it all the way on. All right, now that, because I have the ability, I'm gonna roll it so I don't have any glue dripping down. It kind of keeps it in place. Problem is I won't have that ability here. All right, so now allow that time to dry. Now the same thing for back here. This pipe here is crucial to clean up. It's an old pipe and the primer cleans. This may become a little sloppier of a joint, but it cleans up any dirt, anything on the pipe. So this way, this will stick to it better. A little bit, boom. Okay. Now a little bead of glue. All right. All right, that's on. So now we just have the final connection over here. I'm gonna start the trap. I don't have to get it tight, but just enough so that everything lines up how I want it to. Okay. All right, 
right, so now, now I know exactly where, I could bring it tighter, I want the T to line up. So, let's put a little primer here. Yep, I'm about to get a run. A little primer here. Brand new pipe, and it's clean, so I'm not sweating this like it's the end of the world. Older pipe, yeah, I'm going to really clean up. So, then primer there, primer there, move it out of the way. And now my final connection. This is why the Union makes it so much easier. Glue, glue, okay, on, and on. Push up, and I should have wore gloves, I know it, but ah, whatever. So that is done. All right, to finish it off, I only need to make a small piece. Figure that should be more than enough. It's even too much if I wanna say, but it doesn't matter. This doesn't need to be glued. And just pop the cap over it. And then that goes right here. And that closes the drain. It doesn't even matter if it's in, 100% seated to the bottom. But now we have a drain that we can clean out. Cause we have the access cap to get into the top now you got the drain inside to flush through you could flush through the insider there you could snake it out if you have to for a restriction you have a union also that if the line is clogged going that way and out then you also could open the union and blast it with air this you will never have to blast with air but if you ever had to say somewhere down the line that's where the union comes in handy so now that we've set this up I'm going to flush my new drain with water. Alright, it's not the prettiest thing here. But I don't see any shiny, oily spots on here. Which is a good thing. Just evidence of water leaks. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flush through the coil, through the drain pan, and out. So, slowly go in with some water. I get enough to come through yet. Not yet. All right. And as that water comes, here we go. We're starting to go through. I'm also gonna flush out whatever gunk is in the pan. Cause it hasn't been able to flow like this ever. But you can see it going through. Let me just make sure that's tight. So, I'm gonna add some more. All right, and push it like it's never been pushed. So I'd usually, I wouldn't even have to go through the pan usually. So you hear that that means the air is coming back up because you flushed it completely out now before I close up this video let's see what the inside of this thing looks like how nasty it is I'm curious and I want to know I'm sure most other people could care less that's the only thing I've actually done in my unit so far is out of that Remy halo ready so let's see up, 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 up. What's in here? So, see what's sitting in the bottom of a drain that can never really be flushed out. Probably got blown out by air by the previous company. You get that crap in there. But there you go. I hope I helped you find an easy way to create a drain with a clean out. And this isn't a, you don't have to make it as big or you can just get a plug. Doesn't matter. I've even seen people just put thumb gum on top of that. Cause I mean, in the end, all you gotta do is stop it from pulling air in here. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time I'm out, like and subscribe.